Greetings and salutations, my beloved brothers and sisters. Reverend Stanley Hive here, just to spend a few minutes, amen, a few moments just to give you an update of Prior Summit 2022. We are set, amen, ready to go. And those of you who may have missed it are looking for it, the time is upon us. Guess what? It is July 20 to the 24th, that is Wednesday, right into Sunday and it is virtual style. Amen, in order to participate, you need to register. So our registration link will be placed above this video or below this video. If you're on YouTube, it will be below the video. And if you are on Facebook, it should be above our post somewhere there. When you register, you'll be given the breakdown of the sessions. When you register, you register as a pastor. If you're a pastor, a church leader, our regular church member because sessions are geared towards different leadership roles and persons inside the church. All in all, we are doing a very special theme. So I'll share my screen a little bit with you just to give you an idea as to what we will be doing. We will be looking at the theme, transformation, reshaping identity through prayer. Transformation, reshaping identity to prayer. So when you signed up, you will get something looking similar to this, where based on where you are in the world, it gives you an idea of the timing of the session. However, when you register, a notification will be sent to your email for each of the sessions so that they can be properly prepared. Amen and amen. So transformation, reshaping identity through prayer. What we are gonna be looking at over these days Amen. Evening. So, so during Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it will be basically in the evening and we'll be doing day sessions on Saturday and evening sessions on Sunday. So everyone can be in church, amen, on a Sunday morning after your regular service. Those who go to church on Saturday, you can still be in your church and then join us. To God be the glory. So I'll be going through topics such as service of consecration. We'll be doing that that is come tomorrow night. And we are asking those who are pastors and leaders and persons who will be taking part in the leadership to be on. We're gonna be praying and asking God's hand and God's will upon the entire week of activities. Practice the presence of the Lord. That will be the 21st, that will be Thursday, all right? And we start 7.30 p.m. And that will be a session of prayer. Prayer for different things, intercession, a session of deliverance, prophetic ministry, amen. Throughout the week, we'll be having special times of prayers for people of different age groups. So I just want us to bear that in mind as we go through. Practice the presence of the Lord. That is what we call a prayer practicum. During these times, we'll be going off into different groups. So if you come on as an adult, you'll be treated, you'll be going to an area for an adult. You have area for teens and young people. We'll be having four different prayer rooms that you can partake of on Zoom. Sorry about those who don't have the Zoom platform available to you on your phone or your gadget. We pray that everything will go well with you by that time you can have it. So we'll be having special prayers and prayer times. We'll be having leaders in the prayer rooms that you can raise your hand, get prayer for specific needs that you may have. As we continue on Thursday, resilience that will be Thursday, 7.20 to 8.40. Biblical case, biblical case studies for the triumph, triumphant church. We are to know who we are and whose we are because we are talking about reshaping identity. Our identity is in Christ. Uh, anything that takes us away from that, reshaping is really getting back to the proper shape. So we are not trying to get a new shape outside of God's purpose. We are talking about transformation, bringing us back to that which we are to be in the first place. And then we continue with a session like Imago Dei, in the in is image. What is the image of God? Are we reflecting who God is? Are we truly reflecting the identity of the church seated in heavenly places in Christ? This session, Amen. It's not just teaching session, but it is teaching coupled with prayer. We need to be there at a general session, 
for every believer. I'm encouraging us to invite our prayer warriors, our intercessors, our men in our church and to ask them to come because it's a training session. We have been doing this, amen, for a long period of time, 12 years going for far, amen. And it is done, amen, with the Nabo Hapman ministry team out of the United States. We have been doing it at Mineral, we have been doing it at Windsor Heights, amen. They join us, amen, at Blackwoods Church and Thompson Town. I'm now at Mineral Heights and the grace, the mercy, the favor of God continues. So all of you just join us and be there. So practice the presence. Again, prayer practical. We are not going to be having a prayer summit that is only teaching. We believe in prayer. We are teaching on prayer and we are going to pray. We are not going to teach us just to teach about prayer. We are going to be praying. So those sessions, again, they are geared to our different groups. So you can select the group that you are from or you are interested in and you will be prayed for. We weave in the sacred. Yes, we have departed somewhat from what we believe is God's blueprint for the church. And reweaving is a discussion that will be had among the leadership pastors that will be on, on, the, on the platform to see how we can get back to where we want to be. Tracks and traces, identity crisis and sacred season. We are having identity crisis and we are going to be having a nice panel of ministers as well to be discussing this issue because with the pandemic upon us, passing us, it has not, it has dealt with a lot of us in different ways. But guess what? Things and the world will not be the same. And therefore, we have to know to transit in this difficult time. Culture wars, yes. Identity and faithfulness on a new frontier. How do we reflect what God is saying in this time? While we are changing, while we are looking different, we need to maintain the image of God, the purposes of God, and be faithful on this new frontier. Are we going to be faithful by staying home and watching? Can that be a way of being faithful? Or is it that we have to be out in the sanctuary? What is it? We are going to explore those options. Because guess what? Some persons who could not have come out due to illness and they and their distance from church, they are really blessed and happy to be able to partake in church from where they are. So pros and cons, we look at those as we go through. Then we're going to go from illusion, from illusion to reality, 6 to 7.30. Amen. A minister of the Lord, Jesus Christ, will be doing a very special job for us at that time and season. Amen. So this call is coming in from one of our partners. So I, as I finish this session, I'll be calling back to make sure everything's all right. So the power of transformation through prayer. If we understand the position and the power of prayer, amen, and the prayer of power, we will realize that in each of us and through each of us, the hand of God can work real mighty. And then we go to the journey, pastors and leaders, amen, discussion. Because if the pastors are not on board and if the leaders are not on board, the membership will suffer and the membership will find themselves in difficult. So that will be how we end. Amen. So Sunday, we start at three, so that persons can get to church and be back home to get ready for this three to six, and from six, seven to nine, because we have a little break time in between. So join us. Amen. Mineral Heights, New Testament Church of God. Windsor Heights, New Testament Church of God. Amen. We have invited to come and join us, the members also, and the mineralite district of churches. We invited to come and join us as well, the Sunday Bay Church, the Comfort Church, the Tollgate Church, and I have Pastor Thompson Town and Blackwood Churches. You are all invited to join and to come and support. And the other ministries out there, different churches, feel free, sign up. Amen. The event is free. But the sign up is to give you the links to the sessions, give you access to the session, amen, through your email and otherwise. God bless you. God keep you. Reverend Stanley Hyde said, see you at Prayer Summit 2022. 
in Jesus' mighty name, somebody say amen. So you can put any little message you want, inbox myself on this, this platform. I will do my best to respond to you. If you are having any challenge, amen, to sign up, we have a person designated to help you get signed up. So one and all, thank you very much. Pastor Ivy is saying, see you at Prayer Summit 2022, July, amen, the 20th to the 24th. What a rich impact it's going to be having. And guess what? After that comes General Assembly, another rich time in the presence of God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.